welcome back in this video we are going to look into incremental load so what is an incremental load incremental load means that uh, let's say you have a historical data over today you just want to append or add the new data set available for a specific month or a specific date or specific by year so incremental load is to load only the new or change records it will be very helpful where a database is let's say very big okay so let's say uh, the records count is around 5 to 10 gb and you don't want to load 5 to 10 gb every day you just want to load that uh, 50 mb or 100 mb of the data when it is coming on the head database so that logic can be applied and based on that you can actually create the whole structure of it so what are the steps the steps is to load the new data separately okay and load the old data from a qvd file where we have stored it from where we have stored it and i replace or basically add the new data to the data loaded from the QVD and save it again with the same QVD name and we are going to repeat this procedure every time the data loads so what is the advantage that our data loading is very fast so depending on how the load script is configured you can update delete or add the new records so I have I am going to explain you with an example in Excel so let's say this is my employee data so this is where the employee name from which department that employee is uh, you know going to perform his work which year month or date that particular employee is joined okay so this is a 2022 data i have another data set here which is a 2023 data set so over to here let's say i want to append this data so what will be the logic of what will be the logic so my logic i can just copy this and i will add it add the logic over here saying that let's say for these columns this is the old data and now i am going to take the new data from this table and append it over here only the new data so this will be my new data and this is going to be my old data so the logic will be let's say we call the about table as table 1 so t1 will have the data from the last year okay so t1 let's say is coming from a qvd so let's say the qvd name is table 1 dot qvd okay table 1 dot qvd where year minus 1 okay so i am going to take only the year so let's say the column name over here is joining year so i am going to say joining year is less than equal to current year minus one so over here i will say today so today will give me today's date and over to here i am just going to do today minus one so it will give me yesterday's date let's say today is first of let's say january then it will take december automatically okay and now it is going to let's say december 2023 uh, 2022 because of this 
and now it will take the whole data from the 2021 onwards so 2021 2022 it will append the whole data so it will only take that data from here and next thing what you need to do is you need to concat so what you need to concat is let's say i'm going to add another line and i'm going to say concatenate what to concatenate let's say table 2 what i have loaded and i am going to take the old condition and i am going to tweak it a little bit so let's say where joining date is more than this particular date so this is my logic so and i am going to store the whole thing let's say i'll say employ data was the table name okay as qvd i am going to store it in the qvd format let's say this is my whole logic so this is how it works so let's say i show you how it's done so i am going to create a new tab exit script and i am going to say t1 okay and i am going to say load star inline so i am just taking uh, an inline and the same thing i'll do for the next data set also so let's say i'm going to take this one okay let's say base data okay so to create a technical uh, kind of an example what i can do is i'm going to create a t1 where i'm going to load star all the columns the resident of base data and for the where i'll say the year of joining is less than equal to year of today minus one okay like this and i am going to do the same thing over here just going to switch the logic and i am going to write it concatenate okay this is the logic and let's load so now it will show you that these are auto concat over here so i am going to just drop the above table this is just for demonstration purpose that how it is so the above script the base data can come from an sql file it can from come from almost anywhere so the basic problem or basic mistake i actually did is i forgot to write no concatenate one mistake and the whole thing is lost so now if i go over here and i see now i see my table one and that will have 2023 values also so this is a very basic example so you can do create insert and delete okay and technically insert if you try to you know uh, mold it in such a way that you can actually create update also where you can just say if the value let's say is year is 2022 uh, 
department is HR and the name of the employee is Juno where employee ID is let's say this okay or you can just say employee ID is this you remove that and you update the records that is also can be done okay in the same way now in the in this where condition you will have only employee ID is equal to whatever employee ID you want to update and over to here you will just say not equal to okay so if you have done not equal to over to that after that you will have uh, except that particular employee you will have all the data then you update the data of that particular employee coming from let's say another source and that is also can be done so this is a very basic understanding that what uh, now the incremental load is all about so you are going to only update or add the new data coming from a different source or from the same source not taking much of the time for your reloads and you will have your data crunched or data in your QVDs very fast.